Oh, how quickly things can change in a single day. Silver's price absolutely tumbled. It got hit hard. But what could be ahead for silver with this massive drop that we saw today? We'll discuss that and a whole lot more as we explore. Yesterday's video talked about how silver's price surged, and here we are, about 24 hours later, and its price has tumbled dramatically. That's the nature of the markets. I actually didn't expect it to happen this soon, as gold has touched an all-time high yet again, breaking through $2,200, now scaled back a bit. But gold scale back really is nothing compared to the hammering that the silver market got today. And we're going to talk about that in this video. You know, I typically have been wrong about my year-end predictions of the silver's price. But with what happens within the year, I've actually been right more than wrong. You know, I don't really like to... It's, I hate being wrong on some aspects of, of things like that, especially negatively for silver. But this does provide an opportunity for those buyers out there. So moments before the markets close, let's take a look at what the markets are doing. Gold has dropped just 0.2%, down $4.80 to $2,182.20 or 30 cents. And that is after reaching about $2,211 uh, for the high today. Um, so it's scaled back to falling below where the market opened. Silver, though, reached a high of $25.78, but it has fallen 3.25% today, down 83 cents. That's a massive plunge for silver in a single day to $24.80, and that's just it. The metric is in days. When I do these reports, we look at the percentage drop in a given day. Now, obviously, there are bull runs that can last for a couple of days, and I think silver was on the precipice of one. But this kind of correction is occurring. But take heed, though, because it's still not uh, reached our critical point, which is $24.50. So we're still hanging on. Now, if we see a couple of days of this, then it will be a bit concerning. But this is the time to look for the deals, I think, if you're in a mood for buying, because this is a pretty big scale back. And I don't think it's going to last too long. I think that this pullback will be muted in time. This very well could just be a correction. But silver has overcorrected in a sense, bringing the gold to silver ratio up now to 88.29. But remember, it wasn't too long ago that we saw the gold to silver ratio at over 90. Now, what's happening here? Well, uh, we can take some assessment that people are taking some profits, at least in the gold market, according to, the, to this piece here from fxstreet.com. Fresh grounded, uh, reaching these highs and the... the uh, the pre prevalent risk on environment as depicted by a generally positive tone around the equity markets prompts some profit taking around the safe haven precious metal. Apart from this, a modest uptick in U.S. Treasury bond yields turns out to be another factor undermining the commodity amid slightly overbought conditions on short-term charts and exaggerated for the silver market. Now, the downside for gold and silver's price will be limited in the wake of Federal Reserve's projection for three 25 basis points interest rate cuts this year. So that's a total of uh, three quarters of a percent drop um, for for the for the uh, for the interest rates by the end of the year. That's pretty good, but nonetheless, when will that start? Many people feel that June or July will be when this will occur. That should keep a lid on any meaningful upside for U.S. bond yields. It might continue to weigh on the U.S. dollar. The U.S. dollar, by the way, is still in, uh, suffering from inflation. Uh, and to the tune that the, United, that the Federal Reserve is not comfortable with, which is why they're not going to be lowering rates um, very soon. And they're going to be very cautious in their approach here as we head out, as we head forth. But it's pretty crazy. But this is any further slide we'll still be seeing as a buying opportunity and remain limited. So I feel that there's probably gonna be support for higher 
uh, silver prices than what we saw before. In other words, I don't think it's going to fall much below $23, maybe $23.50, whereas my previous support for silver was around $22.50. Only briefly did it fall below that period before, um, and even only one time did it fall below $22 for a brief amount of time. But silver really has been strong, notwithstanding. That is the thing. That's the message of hope uh, that we can we can send for you. So any pain that we may see in the silver market could be limited, but more pain could be coming. Uh, why? Well, because of the psychology of the markets. What's pulled silver back today much more dramatically than than gold. Really, many analysts aren't really talking about a whole lot what's happening there, other than what we normally see. And that is whenever gold goes up, silver tends to go up more. Whenever gold scales back, silver tends to scale back even more. In other words, drop down in price. And this could be a case where silver is reacting as a commodity rather than as a monetary metal, which has frustrated silver stackers because of the that spread between the gold and silver ratio compared to previously fixed ratios and the mining ratio especially seems to be way out of whack, but that's just it. Because silver is a dual, has, a, has a dual role, um, it, it really is frustrating. And many people uh, liken it to manipulation or suppression. And the mere existence of the paper contracts for every ounce of silver, especially if people have been selling off a lot of the paper contracts with the volume of silver, well, then that would make sense to see that kind of activity. And there's been a relatively large volumes on the way down of, of selling that we've seen if you look at a chart with the volume of sales. And only recently we've seen it kind of try to recover some of those losses there because, we again, we did see it drop uh, early, lower as the day went on. To $24.59 was the low today. It's recovering from some of those. So that is what we're seeing in the silver market. But with inflation continuing to stay strong, I don't see silver staying uh, too low, but it just depends on uh, how close we are to a recession uh, and what's going to prop up the economy. But what's propping up the economy now is all this federal spending and mandates, especially in the green technologies, which means there's going to be more demand for metals like silver out there. Um, and so I think that these dips provide buying opportunities because I just don't see silver falling much below $23.50 uh, in, the, in the near future. But pain could be coming, but I think it's going to be limited, uh, especially compared to where we were really since the pandemic. Silver's not doing too bad when it's all said and done. And again, I do feel it is undervalued. Uh, that's just my feeling. But of course, you know, this is not... Uh, financial advice, but, uh, you know, I'm of the mind that I'm going to hold on to the silver that I've got, the, and there's some silver that I purchased, and I was going to produce, uh, publish a video that I recorded earlier in the day. That video will still be coming likely tomorrow, uh, but uh, uh, that video is already outdated because of the scale back in the price that we've seen. That just goes to show you how volatile it is. But I think it's going to very, be a very important video that you want to stay tuned for tomorrow. Uh, because when is the time to buy? When silver is unloved. It's exactly right. And right now, silver is not necessarily unloved, but it is frustrating a lot of people. But there are those with diamond hands. There are those who have a complete and full understanding of what silver is. And I think if you're like me, it doesn't really matter what the price does on any given day or even within any given week or month, because it's a long-term proposition. It is a savings vehicle outside of the current system from which we find ourselves apart. That is invaluable. That is something that does transcend price. And I think it's a pretty amazing. And so any deals we can get on silver at this time, considering how premiums are lower now, it's a blessing. It's kind of like paying lower premiums on your auto insurance for a safe driving record. And so in a sense, when you're stacking silver and you're buying it when the price is low, well, the market at least is fooled into thinking that, hey, everything's okay, we're gonna go to riskier assets. And we don't just look at it as just a mere commodity other, other than just as a storage vehicle outside of the current system and as a monetary metal. 
But there's good news for silver because silver has not changed. This one ounce silver of Libertad uh, has maintained its properties ever since I got it. Uh, and has seen a lot of fluctuations in price since I've held it in my possession. Uh, that's not going to change. Uh, the properties of the silver and the silver market's going to be crazy volatile. It's just our uh, view of the, of the metal and what it means to us to hold it in our hand, in our possession. And to me, that is a lot more than just price. So let me know what your thoughts are about the market report for today. And one other thing too, people say, well, up today, down tomorrow, it's the same old, same old. And this, in a sense, is kind of boring. And yeah, it is, but it's what I like to do. I like to talk about the markets and try to provide some encouragement to silver stackers uh, when the metal moves in both directions, because we're gonna see this. Uh, but it is interesting, it's exciting to see. And that is why part of the reason why this channel exists is to provide you not only the latest news, but to provide perspective on the markets for this metal. Uh, I still, has, it has not changed my calculus. It has not changed my view uh, on the metal. And I hope it does not yours either. So hang in there, hang tough, as once was said by a boy band from the 90s. So there we go. I like to extend a multitude of gratitude to each and every one of you for taking the time to watch and to encourage you to please rate this video. That means press that thumbs up button, share it, comment, and subscribe.